Good morning, folks. We've got a solar flare, earth impact, weather alerts, our top articles of the day, and a sneak peek at some things to come. We begin, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com, where we see the SDO roll complicating analysis. Goes SXI was one of the other devices on point and unaffected. Nothing happened during that roll, except that a sunspot group was born on the southeastern departing area, unleashed a small eruption this morning that does not appear to have pushed much out of the corona. That burst produced only a mid-level C-class flare, barely worth mentioning except that it dwarfs what the sun has done lately. The sunspot group can't make the biggest ones and it is departing down there. New groups incoming at the same latitude across the disk, with some plague regions turning over the northeastern limb as well. Remember folks, we've been expecting this corona hole to impact us with solar wind and this is the beginning as the density bulge in orange indicates the leading shockwave out ahead of the faster particles in yellow, they rise afterwards. The shift in blue plus the moderate speed only suggests this is the sector interactions and we could see speedier particles today. If so, I'd expect at least a level 1 geomagnetic storm event but we will need a bit more than what we've got so far. Of course, as that stream began impacting, we hit Super Typhoon status at Nipartak. It has arrived at the coastlines of Taiwan, and it is likely to be nearly catastrophic there before moving onward to China, which is already dealing with major floods, more than a million displaced, and here comes a bit more. Eyes open in the West Pacific and South China Sea. The systems south of Mexico are staying on their westward tracks. The next one that forms this weekend is likely to run right at Hawaii, so we'll keep eyes on that in the coming days. Top stories begin with yet another confirmation and deeper analysis this time of water content in the clouds of Wise's coldest brown dwarf. Major star water stuff, and the final confirmation needed to say this is legit, and there's no doubt about it. The more interesting story and animation comes out of NASA and JAXA where Hitomi's X-ray sensors are measuring the blazing hot gas within a galaxy cluster's major activity zone. The sensor was able to make a much more detailed observation than its predecessor, Suzaku, and it should be just the first of such discoveries of its kind. Other top weather alerts today include the Midwest, again. Earth spots are stuck, but sunset lights them up wherever they are every time. Please check local forecasts. Across the pond, we see a disorganized system of pressure cells delivering rain across a wide portion of the continent this evening. Again, local outlooks are required. And down under, we've got lows at Western Australia and that same one taking its time to get away from New Zealand. Already worn out his welcome. Folks, these are the final designs for the Kickstarter reward t-shirts and hoodies for the Disaster Prediction App's founding members. Now these will be a one-time creation for the app supporters. We don't expect to have many extras and to be fair, it would have to be at Kickstarter prices for those. However, once all the founding members gear is sent out, we will open up the availability of the more basic shirt. Not quite as flashy, but will still be a walking billboard for the community. Founder stuff should get out in early August. If we do have extra and you are insistent on getting it, please send us an email. And also, send an email if you're in Albuquerque and want to come to the Observer's Hangout this Saturday. Nothing fancy, just getting to know the Observers out here in the desert a bit better. Cat at observatoryproject.com is the email. We've got shots of our star to close. It's 4 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.